Sean Shirk. Sean, how are you doing? I'm doing very good. I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, welcome to the Major League. This is the Major League. I'm very excited, like I said. Okay, what, what are your thoughts on your opponent? I don't really know a whole lot about him. Uh, you know, I'm just going to do the same thing I do in every fight. I'm going to come out 110%. I'm going to, I'm going to burn him on a gas. Okay, we heard about, we did a pre-interview with you, and you were talking about 10 years of Thai boxing experience. You are going to show that tonight too? I hope so, you know, I, I hope to show a lot of everything, a lot of wrestling, some jiu-jitsu, and some Thai boxing. So it's going to be action-packed? I hope so, yeah, that's my plan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Sean Shirk, welcome to Bushido to Pride Fighting Championships. Thank you very much. Take care. Making his debut here in Pride Fighting Championships at Bushido 2, Boss Rutan, you, Sean Shirk. Yes. And, and you, you can better give him Sean Shark the name because he will come after you. His biggest profile match in the United States. He went the distance with former UFC welterweight champion Matt Hughes. But now he is definitely speaking of sharks, fishing with the big boys here in Pride and definitely wanting to make an impact. You know, they say the United States of America is a land of opportunity. He says Japan is the land of his opportunity. He says this is a dream come true and he definitely wants to make a big impact here tonight against his opponent, Ueyama of Japan. Yep, and like we said it before, we talked before, you know, they're both wrestlers. We said it in the opening of the show, but Sean Shirk's got some good hands, good striking skills. He told us he's going to use it tonight, see if he can knock him out. It will be great because then we will see a wrestler knocking somebody out with hands. That, that's just a dream come true for me. He trains out of the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy. He's all about wrestling starting at the age of seven. Again, his only loss was to former UFC welterweight champion Matt Hughes. And he's put together a very impressive resume. 18 wins, one loss, one draw. We'll see what happens tonight at Pride of Bushido 2. You know what, El Wapo, you're already the best color commentator in the business, but you know what, you're also very scary. We've just been told that in Japan he's known as Muscle Shark, so that analogy that you started was uh, on the right path. Man, I'm good. And look at Ueyama, he's wearing shin guards. What is this going to mean? And, 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 and shoes, very acceptable for leg locks. And yes, <laughs> needless to say that when he kicks, he's got padding on. Why is he wearing shin guards? We saw a shot momentarily there of Oyama's corner in his corner. Of course, representing the U-File camp is Kyoshi Tamura, also a Pride veteran. Uh, Oyama currently the deep middleweight champion, the first one, in fact. Of course, deep, a smaller MMA organization here in Japan. So Oyama now wanting to make an impact as well here in Pride Fighting Championship. Of course, Shirk also looking for an opportunity here in Pride, and now it is underway. The bell goes again a one ten minute round, one five minute round. Shirk wanting to show off his striking ability as well, known as a very proficient wrestler. There's that double leg takedown, boss. Beautiful. And right away into side control. That's exactly what I'm always talking about. This is what I like. People taking somebody down, go right into the side mount. Perfect. This is the place. Probably can go already. He can push his uh, the right arm off. No, not anymore. And then go for that figure four. He's not doing it. He's looking for a full mount. Um, this is very good also. The north-south position. That's a little knee there in the head. But I was going to say, there it is. Oh, look at that. Two knees and right away going to the double leg again attempt. Yeah, and he's going to pick him up. Against the ropes now is Oyama going. There's the pickup and a slam with the <laughs> the yeah. muscle shark as he is affectionately known already in Japan. So Sean Shirk already delivering the goods here early on at Bushido 2. 
You see, he has a real high guard there, or Uwayama. That means he's looking for submissions, probably uh, an armbar, and now he can do an, uh, a, a triangle choke, but Sean Shirk's already in the side mount position. He spins Nothing's again scared. into the side mount. There's Tamaro, already with a look of concern on his face. With Shirk in the cross, side position, controlling the round early on again. He, uh, you know, second time in Japan, boss, and the Look, Japanese there we go, figure four. Figure four, if this doesn't work, he can go for a straight arm bar on, the, on Ueyama's right arm. No, he's going to go from north-south, knees again. You watch, there we go. He's trained jujitsu for 10 years, so he definitely knows his submissions. Does Sean Shirk. Started wrestling at seven years old. Muay Thai training for 10 years as well. I was going to mention that uh, here in Japan, known for their work ethic, well, this guy knows all about work ethic, trains 10 to 12 hours a day, six days a week. And another knee right to the top of Oyama's head, now back into the... Yeah, what is it? Half guard. Half guard there. Yep. Oh, and he's already out. Into Look the at this. Position again. Now head and arm control there by Shirk. Beautiful. And, and now with the top out. mount. Sean Shirk is doing a real good job. Look at his now balance, going probably for a rear naked yeah, if he's going to like turn. He was going to have a rear mount there, but, nope. but now full mount again. This is not a smart thing. Put your right arm around somebody's neck. For Sean, probably it is. He can do it because he's got an incredible balance, as we already can see. If there is such a thing right? as controlled enthusiasm, sorry, boss, Sean oh. Shirk possessed it. Here is some ground upon, but there, a good explosion by Oyama, but and unfortunately gives him his he's back. He's got it. He's going to get it. Looking for the rear naked choke is Shirk. Underneath, though, now, and there's just raining in the thing. Now he's got him in the rear naked choke position. Wow. Does he have him underneath? Mm, Not quite. I don't think so either. Let me see if I can see it from here. No, he doesn't have it. Okay, well defended. But uh, this means trouble for Uyama. I mean, Sean Shirk is going. And like he said in the interview, <laughs> I'm going to go for full power. Total elimination is coming up on April 25th on pay-per-view. Oh, look at this. With that nice escape there by Oyama, I was going to say so far it's been total domination by Shirk, but now into the guard of Shirk is Oyama. Now let's see what Oyama can do. But a nice escape there by Shirk showing his strength. And so far we have to tell you as they continue grappling here, there's a knee by Oyama. Now it's back to the stand-up. Returned with the right straight there by Sean Shirk. Sean Shirk shooting nice right in. Double leg. We're going to see another scintillating hey. slam. And uh, Quinton Jackson might be impressed by the slams <laughs> of Sean Shirk. And by the way, Quinton Jackson, we understand, is still healing from the injury he incurred at Shockwave 2003. And for more information on that and all the news on your favorite fighter, just visit pridefc.com. And talking about uh, the total elimination 2004, the 16-man tournament to find out who is the absolute world's best fighter, we can tell you that Mirko Krokop will be a part of it, Antonio Rodrigo Noguera will be there, Fedor Emelianenko. Heath Herring, Santorio, the sumo wrestler, has been signed to be a part of the tournament. Mark Coleman, Takayama, Don Fry, also Look possibilities. So make sure you are part of it. It's going to be Pride's 16-man tournament coming up April 25th. Okay, we saw Uyama again going for the triangle choke, and Sean Shirk slipped out again real easy. Nice knees here. He's got an incredible balance. Very hard to take down. Oh, he should knee him. No. Oh, knee right up nice. the middle to the point of the chin, boss. Yes, he's 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 very well rounded, and and like you said, his record is very impressive. 18 and one, and the one loss against Bad Hughes. I mean, come on, and that was a decision loss. So, and let's give some credit oh. to Oyama as well, able to withstand the barrage thus far that he's been subjected to by Shirk. Yep, another nice shot there, a very fluid <laughs> shot by Sean Shirk, and the takedown again, and he'll be able to perhaps gain he's the back go for here. A but figure he's four there, a reverse figure four. Looking for the Kimura is Oyama. Definitely. Yeah, but he, he can't doesn't do have it, it at can't all. Do anything. Here. Can't do anything at all. Sean, uh, Sean should just jump over to the other side now and then start going for uh, maybe a, a choke. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this, what he's doing. He's putting his knee on his arm and pulls his arm out. It's, it's, it's perfect. It's <laughs> this is uh, textbook work right here. And even if he's going to get the figure four, the reverse figure four, Sean can jump out. I mean, uh, Uyama doesn't have him locked in, no nothing. There's nothing he can do with it, actually, when, even when he's going to get it. Well, he has the positioning, does Shirk. 
but, but there is nothing, people, you know. Now single leg by Shirk, and there's a takedown into the half guard. Now he can do something with it, if he can do it now, because now he's got the legs locked, one leg at least, from Sean Shirk. If he can pull it out right now, then it could be something. And again, like we saw before, he can also use this position right now to turn Sean to the left side. And what about Shirk? What uh, can he do to escape this danger? He should pull it out, stretch and pull it out. Yo, this is not good. Stretch your arm. Always stretch your arm in this position. Make sure that your arm is not bent. That's one thing for sure that you don't want to do. He's doing it perfect. As you can see, he's holding his hand on his hip. But if uh, Uyama is going to pull it out explosive, you see, now he's too strong for this. He's there, going to now perfect. into a side choke, perhaps. And a full mount. full mount. So this could be dangerous for Oyama. But now, good job, Oyama, to put his arm there between, and now maybe some shots to the solar plexus area by Shirk. Yep. Now some this ground and pound, good. and then a good uh, explosion of the hips there by Oyama. But now he uh, oh, gives up his back, and here's he a might textbook have it. rear naked choke, perhaps. And he might have. He this turns one. his head to the left. Does Oyama? Yep. Nope. He doesn't have it at That's all. some good defense of the choke. Does Oyama? Yep. He's doing a real good job. He's known as Mr. Deep. His brother Tomoyaki is a professional boxer, so he is comfortable with the striking, but we've seen a lot of ground game here by Shirk. There's a hammer strike, and there's some lefts and rights being delivered by Shirk. Yeah, and they're solid. Both of them proficient wrestlers. Oyama started wrestling in high school. Uh, yep, and now he might have it. He might have the choke. Rear naked choke being put on by Shirk. We can't see it from this view. Is it on? And is it, is it underneath his jaw? That's Let's the take a question. Look in the ring, it looks like his chin is tucked. Yep. No, it's not on. No, he's turning his head again. Keep doing that. And Shirk gives it up one more time. He's got the hooks in. Now Oyama able to turn back on his backside position, controlled by Shirk. Beautiful. Shirk is moving. His movement is unbelievable. Jump from mount to side mount like it's nothing. Perpetual motion, very fluid is Sean Shirk controlling this bout this. in the first round. Looking very impressive is the American wrestler Sean Shirk making his debut here at Pride Bushido 2, but putting up a valiant effort as Luki nice Uyama. Shots. I like those shots. Underneath the armpit, they have really impact. It's like an uppercut. And this is a bad position. You don't want to be in this position. No, it's going to set him up for ground and pound. You're right about that, boss. But he, again, he puts his arm on ground the back of his neck, which it's you have uh, stated before can be a dangerous yep. position because it sets up a... And he can turn him over. Side roll, choke. Exactly. Look at this. One go minute left choke. in the opening round, boss. Side choke. He's going to jump to the side. Ooh, he just slipped out. Back to the mount. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is a fighter who knows he's, his ground he's game. He's a very cerebral fighter, always thinking one step ahead as Sean Shirk setting things up. And I know it's a cliche in the fight game, but uh, Sean Shirk knows how to play that chess match on the ground. And now with some ground and pound is uh, Sean Shirk out of the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy. And he's going for an armbar, it looks like. Trying to do his new wife, Heather Proud. Heather, of course, watching back home. Oh, look at this. In yeah. Minnesota. Some solid shots now again, the arm around the neck. What Uyama has to do is lock Sean Shirk's right leg up. Oh. There is the end of Come a very on. entertaining first round and uh, Sean Shirk saying that he wanted to put on a very good show here in front of the Japanese fans. I think he has delivered the goods thus far, boss. Oh, yeah, he's in a phenomenal shape. He is strong, he's well balanced, he knows everything on the ground. He's got good striking, solid strikes submissions i mean he's got the complete package one more five minute round if he continues doing it like this he's going to or finish the fight or he's going to win it on decision for sure sure coming off a win in december over charles diaz via keylock submission at ep extreme impact and let's go back to a very thrilling opening 10 minutes boss look at this slam bam thank you ma'am rampage stuff <laughs> yeah yeah, he is incredible strong. And look at this balance. He starts kneeing him, and then if Uyama tries to grab his leg, you know, he's already gone. 
He moves from position to position. Yeah, very impressive. Okay, while Oyama was in danger throughout the opening 10 minutes and did, uh, you know, was subjected to some uh, scintillating slams and was almost submitted on myriad occasions, what does he have to do now in the second round to turn the tables, boss? Is there anything he can do to offset Shirk's, offset Shirk's strength? Is there anything he can do to, to perhaps surprise Shirk in that second five minutes? No, I, I don't think so, because Sean is doing everything perfect. His takedowns, once he shoot, every takedown attempt that he made, it was a bonsai. So it's, no, there's nothing pretty much he can do. Hopefully he can keep it on the feet and hopefully he can knock him out with the reach advantage that he has with the long arms and being his uh, brother being a, a, a professional boxer. But look at Sean Shirk there, setting it up, double left, right, straight, and go for the takedown again. He's like, Using his strikes to beautifully set up the shot and look, into that high right, now guard again. Go. And it's he's going, guys, she is escaping right away. Boom, there we go, side mount. He's, this is it. This is Doing it. exactly what Okami should have done in that previous bout we yep. saw. Yep. He should knee to the body here. That would be real good. Oh, hey, look at this. Looking for the sweep was Oyama. But Shirk continues to control. He's like a an eel, very slippery, is Sean Shirk. And yeah. Very well balanced. I'm sorry, people at home. I'm keep it repeating myself, but I'm really impressed here. There is Tamara. You file Tamara, of course, a pride veteran. It's probably Many go battles for... with Takata. Nobuhiko Takata, of course. Sean should range some left knees to the body right now. A right knee to the head. There he gains the back again, going for perhaps a rear naked choke here, but again, nope. has it uh, high, doesn't have it underneath the chin, into the throat area, and uh, Oyama again being able to push the arm down, boss. And Sean's putting a body triangle on now, he's trying to pull his foot so in. that body scissors? Yeah, actually, uh, Oyama is doing it for him, it looks like. <laughs> that is very weird. Now you're looking for that uh, key lock. Yeah, there's nothing that he can do. There's nothing that he can do. Uh, he doesn't have the choke now, right now, but I mean, Sean Shirk is all over. Opens his guard, you know, knows exactly when he has to open and go to the side again. Look at this. There really is the poetry in motion here at Bushido 2, as displayed by Sean Shirk, north south position now, controlling the head and the arm. He should start kneeing now, kneeing the head. It's all open. And his corner, in his corner, we have Greg Nilsson and Damian Hertz, and they're imploring him to drop the knees as well. He's got that knee. It looks like he wants to set up a side choke and then, you know, and suddenly jump over to the other side because he's pushing with his head against the tricep to, uh, of the right There's arm. There's a knee to the shoulder area. Now the knee on the armpit. He should just need the body now. <laughs> Trying to roll onto his stomach was Oyama, and really, stomach, back. Nice knee there. It's all a moot point for Oyama right now, boss, because it has been a one-sided affair in favor of Sean Shirk. We have uh, two minutes remaining. Oh. There's another devastating knee delivered by Shirk, known as the Muscle Shark, and he has been feasting on Ryuki Oyama so far in this bout. Yeah, it's like -na -na -na. a feeding frenzy, if you will, boss. -na 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 -na. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I'll leave the sound effects to you, boss. There we go. There we go. All right, back into side control now. Left knee to the body. I want to see a left knee to the body. Look at this. Now he gains his back again, standing up though now as Shirk with the waist lock. Maybe we could see him in a soup. He's a wrestler <laughs> yeah. after all. Why not go for a soup play as the late great Gordon Soli used to refer to it as? Now to the side. Takes him down again, flat on his back. Back in the cross side position and a knee there. Yep. But he shoots it up with left knees to the body now. One minute left. He's going to go for a full mount. He's going to throw it out. You watch. But Oyama escapes that, gives him his back again. Now gets his hooks in there, does Shirk. What now a maybe fellas. a guillotine, no? 
Look the way he stays on top. It's like you can't get him off. It's no. He's like a koala bear there on a tree. The tree may be uh, swaying in a storm, but the koala bear is hanging on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pulling his leg out again. There we go. Seintman. Yo. This. This is it. He has used everything in his arsenal, has Sean Shirk. Nice knee again. Now, what do you say to the people that uh, will tell you, yeah, Shirk dominated but was unable to finish Oyama? Do you think there's any merit to that no, criticism? No, 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 because Oyama is a good fighter. That's what I think as so, well. I'm uh, just, I'm being the devil's advocate here. Yeah. Very well done, Sean Shirk dominating Don't Ryuki Oyama. A great matchup here at Pride Bushido 2. The two fighters embrace displaying the sportsmanship that mixed martial arts is known for, that it separates it from almost every other sport. And Ryuke Oyama, a, a valiant performance, unfortunately overmatched by Sean Shirk from the United States of America. And I do believe we have a, a, an American star in the making here in Pride, boss. I think so too. I mean, let's look at the replay. Bang, right knee to the face. And another one. He should have thrown a little bit more left knees to the body, I think. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, total domination. Well, this is going to be simply academic, but let us go to the center of the ring and await the judge's decision as uh, we see Kyoshi Tamara. Not looking happy. No. <laughs> Yep, surprise, surprise. And a very nice round of applause from the audience here at the Yokohama Arena and a happy Sean Shirk, whose work definitely paid off tonight. And Ueyama, again, the two embrace. And Tamara, congratulating him. And that's a great uh, show of sportsmanship there. Yeah, giving him a nice water. drink of water there, why not? So Sean Shirk, a, a nice effort there, really uh, showcasing all of his skills, boss. And uh, I could tell just the way you were analyzing the fight, you're a big fan of this uh, youngster from the USA. Big, big fan. Everything he did was perfect. And like you said, the, the, the thing with the koala bear, it's exactly like that. There was no way Ueyama couldn't get him off. He was all over, very well balanced, escapes the guard, goes to side mount, man, south, north, south position, strikes, knees. I mean, he's got it all. All right, we look forward to seeing more of that man, Sean Shirk, here at Pride Fighting Championships. He's a winner at Bushido 2 at the Yokohama Arena.